this car is such a guilty pleasure, but I really, really like it. What a pile of fucking shit. <laughs> That's just how it is, traffic, it's a Sunday. So I have a lot of heavy traffic. We're about to get off seven and get onto the back roads to hopefully make the speedy final bit into town. Cam and I are starving. It has been a long day on the road with basically one real meal with Adam. Other than that, we just had like a little bit of a snack this morning and a coffee. So we can do with some food. Uh, updates so far, man, my voice is gone because I've been talking, I've windows down all day, it's so hot. The car, for the most part, knock on wood, has been doing very, very well. It's definitely gonna need a little love, but there's definitely some potential under the hood. Well, under the skin, I guess you could say. Beneath the skin, there's some potential there. So the plan is we're gonna get into Peterborough, we're gonna give my mother her launcher back with a full tank, and then, <clears throat> We are going to get food and then we're going to wash this up and that might be the end of the video but dan marcus sent me q gang at least he wants to see it so dan marcus could be in this one you love him whoo so i'm against uh, what i just told you a minute ago we're doing a quick stop in havelock just because we're nerds uh, stretch your legs yep it is hot though it is like the car the car right now says it's give me a second here i can tell you it is actually no, sorry, here I can tell you. The car says it's 32 degrees and that's not accounting for uh, humidity. It is hot today, Jesus. But against the odds, the car's making it. So far, we've got like 25 minutes left, so we should be good. All right, break time over. Let's make this final run to Peterborough. I am hot and hungry. Both versions are hot. Yeah, we're going home now. This part's sketchy. made it back to a familiar site, Trent University. Uh, we made it back to Peterborough. I mean, the, the Ultima, I just about said the Salika. The Ultima's got three kilometers to go. The bridge right there is about three kilometers to my house. It's about three kilometers to go to get home. And then she's made it. And I think we're gonna quickly drop the Elantra off. And then Cam and I are gonna jump in this. And then we're gonna go get some dinner.
Well, we made it home and this view of all three of these together may never actually happen again. That's gonna roll away, maybe. But the 2005 Altima, it's, it's going to roll away. Okay, so I'll do this quick. 2005 Altima, 2003 Celica GTS, 2004 Pontiac Bonneville SLE. All within three years of each other, this is actively, this is actively going to leave the chat. All right, so a couple hours later, we finished uh, dinner, just had some Subway. Sean is also with us now back there in the mighty micro. And we have an overpass. Like the GoPro is either distorting the sound or it's not picking it up at all. That hurts. Yeah, like the ears are on fire. Yeah, the only car I've ever had that this louder than that was Ryan's Accord. That was in like, like one video. And if I if it's actually in a video, it'll be up here somewhere. If it wasn't in a video, you have to take my word for it. But this thing is insanely loud. But anyway, the plan now is we're gonna go clean it up, and then I don't know. We might tuck it away for the night, or. Probably not. So we've made it to the car wash that we've been to in, well, not hundreds of vlogs, but a lot of vlogs. Let's see the wheels. I mean, I don't have to clean or anything. It's just be a spray down, but Sean's already. That was not planned. He just did that. <laughs> so, I mean, it's definitely got some love marks on it, but I don't know. Let's see if it, let's see if the thing cleans up a little bit. Hopefully. Okay, go rev it. The license is actually broken. Let's go rev it. It's not broken. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's locked. Oh. No, other one. There, it just wasn't unlocked. Every time. Shocks me every time. It shocks me every time. Let's go, lip locks. Of course they do that and then they get out and leave me to claim the car. This is only fitting. such a guilty pleasure but I really really like it I like it a lot more than I should what a pile of fucking shit I, I was gonna say I want honest opinions but yeah you got it yeah it's a pile of fucking shit dude it she all have all the same fucking wheels on it does it no it has the same wheels I have a lot okay. of cars just the bottom oh yeah I guess dude wheels? The... dude the wheels are worth more than the car they are and there's two sets of them which means I'm doubling the value of the car just in wheels tripling it but it cleaned up really well and like we're the Nissan gang now. He's embarrassed as a micro owner that I said that. Look at him, look at him, look at him. It is the most guilty pleasure car I think I've ever had. You're more guilty about this than the Bonneville? The Bonneville and me have a... It's accepted at this point. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The Bonneville's normal for me at this point. It's not. It's not. Yes, I do. Nissan montage.